Hi guys, it is Caitlin here. I am doing um, another <laughs> unboxing of Ophelia Soapery. Um, I got soap a couple weeks ago from um, her and I loved them. Um, I've gotten soap from her in the past too. Um, but the first time I ever ordered soap, it was like the sample set, um, like the small end piece cuts. And um, the second time I got it was like um, her oat milk soap and her um, oatmeal soap and oatmeal and honey, I believe. Um, my kids are in the background. <laughs> um, so I was like, you know what? I have to get more because they just agree with my skin. Her soap like, aside from my own soap that I formulated to be able to use on my face, I can use her soap on my face without it drying out my face, without getting any kind of breakouts or anything. Like, my skin doesn't feel tight at all after I use her bar soap. And to me, that's really important because my skin gets really dry in the summer, or in the winter months. And it's still, like, off and on getting, like, cold, warm, cold, warm. So, I love it. But anyways, I already opened it out of the package, and I already opened everything so this could go a little quicker, um, but I just want to show you guys how it comes. So, it's usually sealed here with a thank you, and then she gave me three samples this time, and I already took the plastic wrap off of these soaps. Um, but they normally come plastic wrapped. So here's the Over the Rainbow. It's base notes of raspberry, cantaloupe, watermelon, middle notes of jasmine and violet, and fresh top notes of grapefruit and kumquat. And this is like, all the bars were slightly different and I was really hoping to get one like this and I did and I am in love. This is just so pretty. Like, I've never seen a soap like it. It's crazy. I love it. And it smells really good. Um, I could definitely smell like the cantaloupe and stuff in there. Which I'm not used to smelling in soap. But it, it works. I like it. And it's not too strong of a smell. But you could also still smell it well enough that it's worth putting a fragrance in. You know, sometimes you get soaps that the, the scent is so faded, it's like, wait a second. Is there anything there? But yes, there's definitely, it's definitely a nice mild um, fragrance. I like it. I cannot wait to use it. Then, nope. Nope, don't chew on that. My kids are crazy. Then I got, well, backstory. So she put these videos for these two out after I bought my soaps, like a couple days after. And I was like, oh man, I need those. And so I ended up going back and ordering them. But yeah, that's why I did two separate orders. But this one here is the Magnolia and Orange. And it's um, a fresh and enticing medley of magnolia and African violets with sweet orange blossoms, apple slices, and red grape, red grapes. <laughs> and this, I just love how bright this orange is. And then she did little flowers on top. So pretty. This reminds me of like, um, like it smells like really similar to, I'm trying to think of the laundry detergent. Maybe like one of the Gain or Febreze or something, but it has a really like that florally, um, fruity smell that they normally put like in like the Febreze for like your furniture or like the Gain um, with like the Febreze added to it. But it smells really good. I like it. Really fruity. It smells good. I keep picking it up and sniffing it because I really, really like it. But yes. There's that, and 
There's how thick they are once again. Beautiful bars. Of, I could use her bars of soap to model my nails when I do my nails. <laughs> but anyways, they are so pretty. And let me show you guys the sample she sent. And, you know, I ordered these mostly for the look of them. I wasn't sure about the fragrances, but I really like them too. Um, and I'm glad she sent me a few different samples because... One of these, it's just like, it's a really strong, let me move this. It's a really, really strong fragrance, and it just smells good. So here's Lush Succulent. It's the one that she piped all the succulents on top, which succulents are in. They are in this year. But it smells really, really good. It has a nice earthy tone with some musk. Um... Musk, I feel like musk is a good way to describe it. Like, I don't want to say soil because that's a weird thing to say. But, like, if you were to stick your nose, like, in a bed of flowers and you smell, like, that aroma of, like, the, um, like, the floral tones and the, like, the earthy musk. It smells good. So, I just feel like I'm describing it like a weirdo. But it does smell really good. And I cut, um, I cut these ahead of time to make it a little easier. Um, and then this one is the White Lily in Aloe. And this one smells amazing. I wasn't sure if I would like it because I, I don't like florals that much. I don't want to use the word hate, but I almost did. I dislike florals a lot. The only one that I really like is like lavender mixed with other things. Um, but this... It smells good. This also reminds me of, I used to have an air freshener. It was a Glade air freshener. And it smelled similar to this. So good. It might have been like a car air freshener. I can't remember. But this is like one of those scents that triggers a memory. Or like, you know, you just know that you've smelled it before. But it smells so good. It definitely has the fresh um, lily smell. And it definitely has the aloe. Like, it's like a 50-50 perfect blend of the white lily and aloe. Amazing smell. I really like it, and I can't wait to rub it all over my face in the shower. <laughs> um, then she also sent me Green Irish, which I believe, based off the name and based off of how it smells, it's like the um, Irish Spring scent. But I just love these colors here. The greens are beautiful together. She bevels all of her samples, which is really nice. It makes it just like a little treat, you know. But it does have, it smells like clean soap. So <laughs> it, it de definitely has like the greens, it smells really like um, Irish Spring. Um, but I, I don't mind that smell at all, and I think it's really good, um, a unisex smell, and also a lot of men like it, but I really, I think it just smells like clean, so I'll definitely be using this, or if my husband really likes it, I'll let him use it, but I like it. So there you guys have it. Sorry for rambling and being crazy. I was just really excited to get these. And I just can't believe how beautiful this is. Like, hello, look at that. Yeah, they're beautiful, huh? They're so beautiful. Like, look at those colors. Even these together, side by side. Like, it just looks like artwork. Well, it is art. Soap art. Here, let me move you forward and push you down. There we go. So there's the side views of these bars. So gorgeous. I love these. I believe these are like the side that were like on the mold. Um, but I think I always liked the way that looked. And I always wish I could get a bar to look like this on the inside. Um, here's the other side. Is that the other side? Yeah. Yeah. Here's the other side of the bar. So pretty. And then here's the side that she... Let me make sure I'm turning it the right way. I believe this is the side that she might have cut. I could be wrong. But um, 
you could see how it just kind of split right into the design on this one. I really like that. I don't have like a, um, a loaf splitter, so I can't do um, my soap like that. And I would really love to be able to just cut into it and see like these cool designs on the side too. Um, and here's the tops. So pretty. I mean, just look at them. You really, you can't go wrong buying her soaps. And I make my own soap, and I totally would be like, yeah, buy my soap, but also buy her soap. <laughs> like, as somebody who sells soap, you kind of don't want to take people away from your business, but at the same time, it's like, as somebody who makes my own soap, I would highly re recommend this She's my favorite. Her soap is my favorite soap out of all the soapers I follow on YouTube and all of that. Like, oh, and I know I said I was ending the video, but the lather on her soaps and like the creaminess on her soaps are just amazing. This soap lathers up so, so well. You know what? I think I'm going to do a lather test for you. Um, so let me pause you guys and I'm going to take you up to my bathroom. <laughs> to my bathroom sink because my kitchen sink's full of dishes. Um, I'm going to take you guys up to my bathroom sink and uh, just show you guys how her soaps hold up and how they lather. Um, so let me get all this stuff away from my son because he's trying to play with all of it. And I will take you up there. Okay guys, my tripod and stuff doesn't quite sit on my sink very well, so I have it balanced here, hovering over the side of the sink. Um, luckily my phone is water resistant. This one here is her, I think it's like oat, oatmeal and um, honey or something. I can't remember exactly what it is. I keep getting the two that I got confused. But um, I've used it for a couple of weeks now, like a week and a half. And it's still a decent size bar, still thicker than an inch, um, really nice, still has a few of the whole oats on top, and um, it's really great. I'm going to go ahead and wet it, just show you guys, like, let me go around the side. Hey, nope, hi. don't you dare drop that in the sink, put it down. My son took one of the little samples. I'm afraid he's gonna drop it. So, look at that. Like, it's just great. And it's very creamy. Very, very, very creamy. I love it. And like I said, it's perfect for like, whole body, really. I use it um, as a whole body bar. Ooh, that's hot. I use it as a whole body bar, and then I also use it, um, as, um, like for my face wash, it's really, really good at getting like makeup off and all that too. Um, let me grab one of these samples. How about the one you already got wet, buddy? This one is, how in the world? He already got dog hair on it. I have a big dog if you haven't seen my other videos. But anyways, so let me get out of my own light. And this is the succulent one, and just this little bar makes all this lather. Like, look at that. That's nice. And it doesn't look like it has a, like a creamy feel to it based off of, whoop, don't want to drop it in the drain. But it's creamy and still has a lot of bubbles. So that's just great. And it's beautiful. Really pretty colors. Really pretty micas. But yeah. That's how her soap lathers. I strongly suggest you go to her um, her store, check out her YouTube if you already haven't. You probably did if you're watching my videos. Um, so that is it, guys. Um, it's opheliasopery.com. I just usually go in and Google, type Ophelia, and then it already knows because I type it in all the time. 
I put an OPH and it just pops up under my searches and I go to her website and um, check out her soap. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for putting up with all of my talking and I will see you guys in my next video. Alright, have a nice day. Bye.